Hello there. In this follow-up video to this uh, blog post, I'm going to share with you some ways you can get a GIS or digital mapping job. So I have summarized these uh, ways into three and you can easily work as a freelancer or a contractor or even a small business owner. So first of all, you need to have at least acquire some basic to intermediate skills in the GIS and uh, you can easily get these keys from any reputable higher institution or by taking some professional courses online or in your locality. So basically the three ways I have summarized here are working with the private or the government sector. Then the second way is by working as a freelancer or a contractor. And then the fourth way is by sharing your knowledge on social media and uh, potential uh, job owners or clients will find you and then hire you and give you some jobs to do. So let's start with the first one. For you to work with the government or any of the private sector, you need some kind of uh, patience to get into the system. So you have to watch out for where those vacancies have been advertised. So for example, I'm going to share with you an experience of where I usually look out for openings and uh, job opportunities in the GIS industry. There are a lot of uh, magazines, GIS magazines that are published in hard copy and in soft copy. Here I've listed some couple of ones. The notable one here is the GIS magazine by GIS professionals. So when you come to this homepage, you are going to get the list of previous uh, published magazines by the, the GIS professional. Another notable one is the Coordinate magazine. So in most cases, these are monthly or quarterly produced uh, published magazines, and they are available in soft and hard copy. So I strongly recommend that you subscribe to any of this, even if you cannot afford to pay for the hard copy, you can easily come to these uh, pages and download the soft copy. So when you get a copy of either of the magazines, you will find a lot of opportunities there. For example, here you get to know about uh, a company called Leica Geosystem. When you get to this company, you can easily go to their website and check their career page. When there are openings there, you apply for the openings. And here's another company too called Geomax. So mostly these are instrument, GIS instrument based uh, companies. You can also find GIS software based companies and also GIS uh, lands, GIS services based companies. So just to give you a quick demo, let's assume you find out uh, from the magazine, one, two, three companies that you we would like to work with. For example, let's pick uh, this uh, Tinkwea, Cardcorp, and some couple of ones that I have seen earlier, like uh, the Leica and so on. So let's assume you have interest in one of these uh, companies that you would like to work with. All you need to do is to copy the name or copy the URL if the URL has been advertised on the magazine. For example, like here you have thinkware.com, cardcorp.com. You would like to check out whether there is uh, job openings or vacancy, job vacancy with the end of this uh, geospatial or GIS uh, related uh, companies. So just pick the name, go to Google and then uh, make your search, Laker like, uh, Geosystems, and then uh, you should be able to find uh, the career page or job opening page. Just click on that, open it, and then check out if there is any job that is available for you. If you check out Thinkware, you will come to the page, just browse through, check the career page, and then apply. So basically, this is a strategy that works very well for job seeking in the GIS industry. So and the magazines are excellent places to find a lot of, a lot of contacts of these uh, professionals that are in the industry. Apart from getting to know some companies, you also get to know some of these uh, 
conferences, meetups, and some other kind of uh, GIS related uh, activities or events. So when you get there from there, you can get to meet professionals within the industry and discuss about the profession, discuss about career in the industry. And from there, who knows, you can easily get hired by any of these uh, CEOs of those uh, companies. So subscribing to GIS magazines is actually a profitable uh, venture. Then uh, apart from the magazines, you can also check on job listing sites such as the Indeed and some other ones you may be aware of. And uh, you can find a lot of uh, GIS uh, jobs being posted there. And when you check through, you see different titles for different uh, uh, GIS uh, positions. So it's up to you to know which one that best suits you. And then those that you feel are interesting to you and you don't have such skills, you go ahead and uh, learn the skills and uh, get certification in those uh, areas so that you will be prepared for those kind of uh, title, job title in future. Apart from this job uh, listing site and then the magazines, there is also the freelancing uh, job portals where you can easily go to and then create your profile and apply for jobs. So some notable uh, freelancing and job portals uh, like uh, the Upwork, uh, People Per Hour and so on. So like on this uh, Upwork, we have searched for GIS mapping. And then as you can see, you have a uh, different uh, job uh, posting there. So if you have your profile here, you can easily apply to any of these uh, jobs that are listed here. This is a uh, experienced GIS software develop development company. And you can see they have a price of about $2,000 to hire the successful uh, applicant. So this is uh, georeferencing thousands of maps. If you have these georeferencing skis, you can easily apply for this job. And the listing price here is about $10,000. Then if you check on uh, people per hour, you can also find uh, some job uh, listing related to GIS and mapping. So this is a representation of data overlay on a map, GIS. And the listing price is about $5,000 and so many other ones. So basically, you need to have a very sound skill in the GIS industry, then create a profile on any of these uh, platforms, and then apply for those uh, job uh, listings. Then uh, the third uh, way I'm going to talk about is actually a typical example of uh, this block. So here you create a portfolio, and then you let employers to find you. So for example, this very block, I have used this very block to uh, to get to secure some GIS and mapping jobs. And uh, the blog is centered on geodata science, Python, and GIS programming. So here you create a blog, or you can even create a simple uh, YouTube uh, channel, and then try to share your ideas about uh, the GIS industry, or work on the solution, work on real life world uh, solution. Share them on your preferred platform, whether it's a blog, it's a YouTube channel, it's a Facebook group, it's a LinkedIn, or even a personal website. So people that are facing such challenges, when they search Google, they will come across your explanation, come across your solution. And if they are willing, they can easily contact you. You get talking with them and then at the end of the day, they hire you, they pay you to help them out in their endeavor. So basically, these are the three ways and they are very effective if you use them well. Then uh, as a takeaway, you you should know that there are more GIS web-based and mobile-based uh, jobs than there are the desktop uh, GIS uh, jobs. So what I'm talking about here is uh, in recent times, you will find uh, more jobs that are inclined towards the web and the mobile uh, platforms than GIS jobs that are just based on the desktop. So go on at those days where people will uh, hire you just to digitize a map for them or just to create uh, a shape file that will just lie on the desktop for them. These days, people want to hire you to create an interactive map on the web or on the mobile phone or you connect uh, their data to a web-based web uh, database server and things like that. 
so also is it will be a nice idea if you have a, a sound uh, marketing uh, skills so you can have the best uh, gis knowledge but if you don't have the marketing talent you don't know how to sell yourself then you will experience a lot of uh, drought in getting a uh, gis uh, jobs so there are a lot of uh, marketing tutorial or marketing uh, courses the, especially the digital marketing courses uh online you can go to a place such as uh, the udemy.com and then subscribe to those uh, courses to learn how to market and sell yourself digitally then also the there is a trend towards uh, data science that is geodata science in this case artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning natural language processing big data analytics math infographics computer vision and so on so all these uh, buzzwords are also trending in the gis industry so if you have uh, any of these topics it will definitely boost your employment rate or boost your value in the gis industry then also you should also look beyond just geo data visualization when you're talking about uh, uh, gis there are a lot of things that can be done visualization types available apart from just visualizing points lines and polygons on the map so there are things other kind of charts like the histogram box chart graphs and so on and so forth so when you are learning your skills make sure you learn how to visualize some of those uh, charts how to communicate your data in some of those charts rather than just rely on just maps and uh, maybe digital evolution models or digital terrain models or digital uh, surface models so basically this is what i have for you for this video and i hope it will go a long way in uh, helping you secure your gis uh, job very soon so i wish you all the best